Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing Stationeers Escaping Mars Scenario. So today um, I will show you what I've done because uh, finally I got to um, prepare my pressurized room. Here's the airlock. Um, this is the, the room and as you can see, if you remember from the last episode, I didn't have as much windows as, as I have now for the greenhouse. So look at this, it's very nice. Um, I'm missing still a um, floor grade there, but um, we will fix that. And I managed to close everything with uh, panels, all the walls and um, also this flashlight i took it from the inside and now um, it, it's part of the airlock also i fixed my um, power issue i installed uh, several uh, solar panels i will show you so i have now four solar panels two of them are tilted the ones are tilted are uh, meant to take in energy from uh, dawn and dusk so when we have the sunrise and sunset they will get that energy and um, this is uh, like my layout approach um, as an alternative to having the panels controlled by some circuit that will follow the the sun because with this configuration well um, the tilted panels take light from the sun as it approaches the zenith as well and the horizontal ones they um, they take um, energy when the sun is close to the zenith and this is the time or, or let's say the, the sun um, the, uh, it's um, how is it called it's um, it remains on the on this uh, position uh, close to the zenith uh, for the longest time in the day so uh, when the sunrise it's not as long as uh, and the and the sunset it, the sun doesn't s spend as much time as close to the zenith the zenith is the highest point in the sky so uh, this is a good layout if you don't have um, um, a controller to, to um, control the orientation of the panels and uh, here okay so one important thing there are several things to note here now we have the the console here um, it's covered um, with a glass and um, a glass sheet uh, so this is uh, something that um, you have to add I will show you so inside we have the circuit that has the airlock controller uh, on top of that you have the screen and you need this disk to be able to configure it so let's put that in this um, um, slot there uh, that is meant for that disk and you need the gas sensor, uh, the doors, the active vent that is connected through a pipe to the other room. So it can take uh, air from this room to pressurize the airlock. And it can uh, take air from the airlock to um, depressurize uh, the airlock. And, and um, it, will, it will pump the air from the airlock to the, to the room. Uh, to equalize the the pressure and yeah and the flashlight um, will turn on when uh, we have this operation of uh, pressurization and depressurization <laughs> this is a difficult word to pronounce okay so now what do we do we should turn on or console and now it's in configuration mode because we have the disk we say the gas sensor should be the should be part of the of the airlock 
and now look at this 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 thing puzzled me at the beginning um, we have the two glass door marked as exterior and this is because it doesn't know which one is the exterior and you have to tell the the controller which one is it once you uh, select one of them it will become the uh, exterior and the other will automatically be set to interior so for since um, you don't know which one is which it's a good idea to label the doors so you can distinguish them in the console but we don't have this uh, label label error here so but i know that the second one is this one so i will choose that one and look at this it will automatically set the other to interior and we choose that as well and if you want to change that if you see that it, there's an error you should uh, deselect both and then go over again and select which one is the exterior and we need the active vent to be part of it and the flashlight to be part of it and now it's um, everything is set now you can take out the disk and let's um, cancel the pressurization because there's nothing right now here um, there's nothing here right now no, there's no gas and for that matter we should um, what I did is that I mine some oxide beforehand and this is what you need to we're going to put some oxide in the room so it will vaporize into mostly oxygen so let's do that you just take your oxide and throw it and it will start um, pressurizing and the way we're going to look at that is uh, through our tablet but we need the atmos atmosphere um, cartridge and we change that and now we uh, turn on the, the the tablet and you see that we are getting pressure uh, the pressure should be 100 uh, kPa approximately though this is already a safe um, atmosphere for all for us to breathe it's mostly mostly oxygen um, there's some co2 and also nitrogen and we can just open helmet. our helmet for the first time oh it feels so good to breathe without the helmet and one thing one important thing is that when we breathe with the helmet open we're releasing co2 to the to the room so this is important for the plants right the plants need co2 to be able to grow um the temperature is low uh i it should increase with the with the day as the day goes on because and as the pressure go, uh, goes up um, I see when I go out that the pressure that the temperature is about 20 degrees um, one thing is that uh, if to control the air temperature we should have uh, air conditioner there's the there's the portable air conditioner we can have that but we need steel and for that we need um, we need to build uh, the furnace uh, to combine iron with uh, with carbon and uh, otherwise we there, there there are other ways like these wall heaters that will um, increase the room temperature but um, look at that we have now the or pressurized room uh, we could in principle throw in more 
um, more oxide to, in to have more pressure. We have 45 here. Let's see how it increments. Also, we see that the temperature is um, decreasing. This is because it could be because it's night time now. Okay, but I think it's it's perfect now, right? So that's done. And now we can cycle normally, ex um, interior exterior. So now I can cycle to the exterior, the flashlight will go off, and now I am outside. Look at that. So um, outside we have a pressure of 2 kPa, uh, that is kilopascals, and we have uh, a temperature of 20 degrees it says here. Well, I think Mars is not as warm as that. Oh, or you you could have a, I don't know, in summer, in the Martian summer, um, at noon, something perhaps close to that. But um, also you have to take into account that Mars, uh, the, the atmosphere is so thin. So I don't know how it would feel like. Okay, but here it is, our greenhouse. We have prepared our greenhouse with um, pressurized, uh, a pressurized environment. So this is what it takes. And in, in the next episode, we will make our small hydroponics um, station here. Um, And hopefully we will have um, a good supply of um, potatoes. So that's everything from now, for now. And yeah, I hope you like the video. If you like it, um, please leave a like. And see you next time. This is Cyber Settler signing off.